is a big week for the Edmonton Oilers organization. No fan was looking more forward to this Friday's draft than Kent Peterson. He's from Lethbridge. The man was struck by a vehicle earlier this month, and he was wearing an Oilers jersey at the time. Now, Peterson died of his injuries a week ago, but not before getting a special gift. Dan Grumman has that story. Ken Peterson enjoyed many things, cards, bowling, but his passion was hockey, especially the Edmonton Oilers. He just always was a big fan, and it's displayed in his bedrooms and in his clothing. Kent had amassed a collection of 45 jerseys, most of them Oilers, most of them signed. If there was like a special like function or something, he'd be there. He met Marc Messier, and that was a pretty big highlight for him. On June 4th, decked in Oilers gear, the 39-year-old was crossing the street in Lethbridge when he was hit by a truck. Kent was wearing the jersey of Lethbridge native Rob Klinkhammer. Paramedics had to cut the jersey off to tend to his injuries. They were so serious, he was rushed to hospital in Calgary. Meanwhile, a paramedic who helped Kent that day texted his friend, Rob Klinkhammer, who wanted to do something. Not a lot of Klinkhammer jerseys floating around, so, you know, if you, every fan you get, uh, you want to keep them, so I just thought it'd be a nice gesture who, for someone that was, you know, clearly in a little distress. Klinkhammer sent Kent a package, a personalized get well letter, and a signed jersey. Despite being intubated, Kent couldn't hold back his joy. He was like giving the thumbs up and you could tell he wanted to like get up and he was like excited. So I just went over to him and held out my hand and he just wrote in my hand with his finger, I'm stunned. So he was pretty jacked. A week later, Kent passed away. Since then, his story's been shared online more than a thousand times, with many fellow Oiler fans expressing condolences. We were in tears because it was really special for, you know, our Kent, and to see everybody else who's also thinking how wonderful it was, and I mean, it was just it's overwhelming. And though he didn't live to see a historic Oiler moment this week, his latest jersey purchase tells you Kent never needed his fandom to be official. Dan Grummet, CTV News, Edmonton.